Eastwood Conference title. Texas State Bobcats, this guy can definitely throw the football and make things happen. And throw what he does on first down. Good for about a seven, eight yard gain as he was able to, remember, battling an ankle injury he suffered against McNeese last week. But uh, is expected to play and contribute. Early heard in the back judge is Robert Lewis. Beatty to throw on second down. Pass is complete up near midfield and going out of bounds for first down. Out in the flats in the wide receiver and empty the backfield. Beatty, his throw complete. This one to Andre Cryer and Cryer across the 45 down to the play, and play well. Second down and six, Beatty with time to throw, goes over the middle, has a man caught Cryer at the 25 yard line, good for a first down. Stephen F. Austin has the ability to make a lot of secondaries look a little bit inadequate. Nice reach for the ball by McCray, and he keeps yards. Right now, they're moving pretty efficiently. Beatty has room to run on the option, and he goes down at the 10-yard line. Good for another first. safety, and sometimes in nickel coverages. Third and goal from the six-yard line. The pass incomplete in the air, but this would give the Lions the early lead. His kick is through. So after a very nice opening drop, Nick rolls out right. Throws it complete. And this one will pick up about five yards back. Hand off Zeke Jones. He loses the football. There is a dive for it from UCA. And we'll see if they were able to come up with it. But a fumble there has given UCA a great opportunity. Central Arkansas and the Lions of Southeastern right behind at one and two in conference play. Great. He will try a 34-yard field goal to tie up the ball game. And Carmona's kick is no good on third and one. And it's Fairley who gets the call, and he is hit in the backfield. To get him back in the game. Hand off to Bobo going up the middle for about two yards. Terrence Bobo not getting out to an injury as well. Third and 12, Dick over the middle, hits caught. Kenneth Roby at the 32-yard line. That's not going to be enough for the first down. All he talks about is special teams and penalties. Right now, their special teams is not playing well, and we've seen the penalties that they've done here this afternoon. Pretty sure that man is not happy thus far. Well, I have field goal. Oh, wow. And penalty. And that's what I talked about, that both of these teams need to just... Coming up, Lions, Beatty to throw out of his own end zone, and it is picked off, going the other way, inside the 10, and it is a... Two weekends in a row, that's a pretty impressive performance there by that redshirt freshman. The defense sometimes has to carry the offense, and they did there. Zeke Jones, rambling past the 30, up to the 34-yard line. Take a pounding and kind of be your workhorse back. Tyler Beatty across the 45-yard line, tackled down at about the 47. Beatty with time, delivers incomplete, looking for Andre Cryer, operating under center for the Bears as he hands off Jackie Hinton, and Hinton hit at the line of scrimmage. It might have been dropped for a little and then make the best choice. Dick steps up in the pocket, and he is picked off. Interception for Rakeem Wilson, his fourth of the season, and this low pressure on opposing quarterbacks. Beatty on third and four. He'll pick up the first down, and goes down at the 30. Minds and get your head in the game. Beatty wants to go downfield now. Hung in the pocket. When you saw in that last play, how he gets underneath the blocks, goes in there, makes a good tackle. That pass was complete to Willie Landers. Right now to throw these offenses off sync. Called that pass to Landers incomplete. So third and ten. And Terrence Bobo with the catch. And he does not. Crowd, I should say. And they are pretty much sitting in their seats moaning and groaning. Nathan Dick wanted to go downfield but waited too long. We'll take on Northwestern. McNeese will play Nichols. Sam Fairley catching it out of the backfield. Picks up a big chunk of yardage. It's not. We just got to play with no penalties here. Beatty 
Over the middle, caught, good for a first down. And still running Brandon Collins across the 25-yard line, and Collins scoots up. 88, Simi Yarbrough sitting on the sideline. Pass to Collins, complete, breaks a tackle, stays on his feet inside the five, Collins, touchdown. And he has the ability to do exactly what he did there, go for the touchdown. Nathan Dick, his pass complete. Ball comes loose at the end of the run, but it's picked up. Kind of lean on when things start to get a little dicey. Hand off to him. Reverses field, tries to get out of trouble and can't do it. Tommy Connors was there, so was Ryan Godare, version. And now find themselves looking to that end zone with under a minute to play in the first half, but Nathan Clopas is looking right at Nathan Dick and plants him in the dirt. Good pass protection for Nathan Dick. Lets it loose down the far sideline. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Dominique Cruz. Line up in a single setback formation. And the handoff going up the middle. Not Nathan Diggs pass to Terrence Bobo. Good. Down the left sideline. Bobo first down. And up to about the 40-yard line. A 20-yard pickup for Terrence. Bobo picks up the first down. Breaks through. Across the 25-yard line. And out of bounds at the 20. Nathan Dick, his pass to Bobo, inside the five, diving for the pylon, touchdown. This ball back to the UCA offense. Lions have been the best in the conference on third down this year, but not on this football. Must it play. And yeah, Nathan Dick has to get rid of it, and he does. Nathan Dick under pressure, has to get rid of the football, and it's picked off by Nathan Clofus. And Clofus inside the 20, and rumbles all the way to the 10-yard line. Tommy Connors, Tommy Connors calls that play. Lions are seventh in the conference in red zone offense, only completing 70% of their red zone. Seth Sebastian, his 29-yard field goal attempt on the way, and Guns to within a touchdown. 4:03 remain. All plays here this afternoon. Baby will keep it. Room to run in the middle of the field and takes a show. <laughs> Beatty's run does net a first down for the Lions. Now he's under pressure, has to get out of the pocket. He's going down. There is a penalty flag on the play. Second down and 12. Quick flip to Kenneth Roby. Roby trying to work the sideline across the 15. Still runner. Carmona with a big punt to send. Tony McCray back inside the 15. He loses the football, and the Bears jump on it at the 20-yard line. Now being helped up on the turf here at Estes Stadium to a big round of applause. Bobo, the single setback, he takes the handoff, and he is met this time at the 10. Will lose about a half yard on that run. 23-yard attempt for Eddie Carmona, and barely got it away before it was blocked, but he did put it on any details. That, that is impressive. <laughs> Crazy Southland Conference. Well, you never know week to week what you're going to get in this league. You have to panic. You're only down 10. Let's just put some drives together. Brandon Collins with the catch. He makes the first down. Now weaves in and out of traffic. Inside the 25. Now inside the 20. And Brandon Collins using that game-breaking ability. Works it all the way to third and 10. Beatty throwing it to the end zone. Collins going up, trying to make the acrobatic. Just not good situation there for the Lions. 29-yard field goal attempt for Seth Sebastian. And the freshman puts it to leave. Texas State pulls off that upset. Jackie Hinton powers his way for about three yards up in the ball game. Nathan Dick hit in the backfield and dropped at midfield. Big drive for the Lions as they try to come back from a seven-point deficit. And the ball is picked off. Coming back the other way, inside the 20-yard line, Dominique Brown. Brown inside the 10, and Brown. Yourself situated to where you're doing, so. And it's it's a tough, tough go, but they're trying to make the mess most, uh, most out of it. Tyler Beatty trying to eat breakfast early in the morning in, in Hammond and then drove all the way into a Little Rock during the day. Brandon Collins inside the five, touchdown. I'm telling a story. Right. And as much as uh, these young kids beat their bodies up during the week, that is awfully, awfully tough. Pass 
caught by uh -oh. Willie Landers and a loose ball picked up by the Lions. And the Lions have forced a turnover and they have the ball inside the 30 yard earlier in the ball game. This pass enters win today. <laughs> That's sometimes how you got to be when you play quarterback. More interesting here in a matter of uh, 30 minutes, I should say. 